Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters, and here today talking about five times that it's smarter to sell your home before you buy a new one. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and thank you so much for watching my video blog. Today I'm talking about five reasons why you should really sell your home first before buying that new one. <clears throat> now, if you own a home and you're ready to move into a bigger and better home, one of the most important questions to ask before you embark on this is should you sell before you buy or should you go the other route? <clears throat> now, selling your home before buying is what the majority of people do and it's usually the better way to go. And here's a couple of reasons why. Number one, you don't wanna risk carrying two mortgages. So in a perfect world, you would buy your new house, sell your old one, the timelines would match up perfectly, no fuss, no muss, and no risk. For most of us though, things rarely go that smoothly. <clears throat> if you don't have the savings to carry two mortgages at the same time, or for at least a few months, you're probably gonna wanna sell before you buy. Another reason is if you can't qualify for two mortgages. So if you can't qualify for two mortgages, really this is your only option. So to qualify for an, to buy another home, you would have to have the cash on hand and have the debt to income ratios to be able to purchase. So your debt to income ratio would need to fit the criteria of the loan requirements to buy the new home with both homes at the same time. The lender doesn't take into account that you will sell the home. They assume that you are going to keep both homes and you have to qualify to be able to support both properties at the same time. So typically your total debt payment should be less than about 40% of your monthly gross income. If you don't think you meet that criteria, then you're probably gonna have an easier time selling before you buy that new one. And number three is if you're buying in a competitive market or competitive offer situation. So in some markets, people are practically climbing over one another to be able to purchase homes. And even in a slower market, this may happen with a home that's priced very well. Although this means that your house may sell faster if you're in a competitive market, in, you also need to be able to put in a competitive offer as well. So if you haven't already sold your home and you can't afford two mortgages, you may need to put an offer that's contingent upon selling your existing home. This means that the seller has to wait for you to sell your home and it means it will delay the closing on the new home. So it's not really appealing for a seller because if they have multiple offers, a contingent offer may not even be in the running. So selling your home before buying a new one allows you to bid on a house without it being contingent on a sale. And that's really critical in a competitive market or offer situation. Number four, if you're selling in a sluggish market and your present home is in an area that isn't exactly selling like hotcakes, and this is the kind of market that we're moving into right now, you definitely wanna sell first. And this is for two reasons. One, it could simply take a longer time leaving you with two mortgages, and two, you may not get the sales price that you'd initially like which will affect your new home purchase. So it allow you to, allows you to know exactly how much you're getting from your home to put that towards the new house. Now, another reason might be number five, you're just not ready to commit. Maybe you're moving out of state into an area you don't know as well, and so sometimes it doesn't make sense to buy immediately. You may wanna get a feel for a neighborhood before you live there permanently. So buying is a big commitment, and so many people will frequently want to take the time and rent first to get to know an area better. And really, you wanna protect yourself when selling first. If you're selling a home before buying, you wanna avoid potentially having to rent another place when you're between homes. So this works best in a seller's market where buyers are willing to wait as long as it takes to get you to move. In many cases, you can do a lease back contingency where you sell the home and then the buyers lease the home back to you for 30 to generally up to 60 days while you look for that new home. This improves your chances of finding a new home before you have to move out. Another strategy obviously is to enlist an experienced agent like myself and follow the agent's recommendations to help get your house ready to sell and familiarize yourself with the market you're moving to. 
As soon as you have a contract on your home, you can look for a new one. If all goes well, your agent can help you line up your closing dates so that all you only have to move once. If you have any questions about this or the specifics of how this all works, feel free to give me a call. My number is 562-316-2915 or of course you can email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Please feel free to forward and share this with your friends and thank you so much for watching.